Welcome back to the abandoned lake house. It rains in here sometimes. And that's why this week we are working on the roof. Figuring out how big of a roofing job this is going to be, or even if there is a point. Last week we began demolition, taking back the walls and found a lot of unpretty sights. Some mold and quite a few dead mice. We want to get up on the roof to start the next phase of the lake house, but first we need to find out if the roof can support us. What do we have under there? Styrofoam. More styrofoam. Two pairs of glasses today? Oh, on my head, I forgot. <laughs> Real moldy up there. Not a good look. Not a good look. It seems to have water coming in like along the peak at the front and the back. I wonder what's gonna be under this one. What? What is all this? How many layers of this? What is this? That would be Stachybotrys charterum, which is black mold. No surprise, no surprise, everyone. And the reason why we're doing the inside of this roof first is to make sure we know exactly what we're getting on before we go on top of the roof. It is a very, very slopey roof. As well as understanding and seeing firsthand where all of the problems and the issues are in this abandoned cabin. What even is that? Is that from the mold? And for the jelly bean counters, that's 27 bags in the bin and she's full. How many jelly beans in the jar? How many bags of insulation in the bin today? I'm gonna guess 22. What's yours? 21. Actual retail price. 27 bags. Y'all saw what the insulation looked like yesterday. We had to bring in some backup gear for today. It is going to be icky, gross, and who knows what we're gonna find underneath that insulation on our leaking roof. Suits! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Suits. But I think so, toys. All right, let's do it. Oh, we found another one. That is bad. That's part of the truss. We have a pile of insulation now. So, time to clean up. Okay, so this is the second bag of Warfarin, a massive bag of Warfarin that we found up here in the attic. And as far as I know, that is extremely poisonous to humans and to pets. And so. really nice. So we need to get that out of here safely. What did you find, Crystal? That is that mouse has been dead for like the beginning since the beginning of time. That's its tail. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. What I've learned is that therapy is an important tool for me to help me get through challenging times. It can also be a fantastic tool for you to help you get through some of the things you may be going through. Whether it's stress, grief, feeling a little lost or a little bit stuck, that's where BetterHelp comes in. They offer professional online therapy that makes it super easy to connect with a professional. Ooh, it's windy. Therapy is okay. In fact, it's amazing. I've had such great experiences and all of my friends that I've spoken to who have also done therapy have had really transformative, beneficial experiences as well. And that includes you. We've been promoting BetterHelp for a while and have heard some amazing feedback from you all as well. To get started with BetterHelp, you'll fill out a brief questionnaire and they'll match you with your very own therapist that suits your needs. And what's really great is you can communicate with your therapist a variety of different ways from the comfort of your own 
own home. So however you feel, whether that be text, video call, phone call, or even just messaging them. If you want 2024 to be a better year, we cannot recommend therapy enough. It feels really good to be able to talk about anything and everything to someone outside of my inner circle. And BetterHelp is the best way to get started. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash vanwives or choose vanwives during sign up and you'll receive a special discount off your first month of therapy. That is a whole lot of moldy insulation with warfen and a lot of seeds. I thought I ate a lot of seeds. I think we need another dumpster. We're full. And we have a lot of moldy, carcassy animal insulation that needs to go. We do have a little bit of room in the bin, so I'm gonna pile everything we can because we might as well get all of our money's worth. On a more positive note, you know, aside from all the, the, the carcass, the warfare, and the dirty, nasty insulation, the trusses are actually looking like they are in pretty nice condition, I must say so myself. And I'm very happy to see that. And it does look like the sheathing underneath the roof may need some replacement in the near future or before a new roof goes on. But it's nice to know that the actual structure is mint. But the far back one, where the window is, where the uh, peak, of the roof that is all yeah that truss needs to be replaced so i'm assuming that this front truss needs to also be replaced yeah but two trusses out of i don't even know how many are in there yeah i'd say we're winning the lottery this is going to be a full roofing job and i'm up to the task wow girl hey courtney and riley i'm calling you out right now get your asses over here <laughs> pick up your phone call them where's your phone <laughs> they actually texted me yesterday saying they want to come over so i think i'll line it up for the very time <laughs> <laughs> good job today girls you're doing great. How you doing? I do have to say demoing is super fun, but there are moments where you get so frustrated and angry and hot that you just run out here and just throw everything off in full panic mode. That just happened to me. Anywho, in brighter news, and we are on the last section ever of all the insulation and then we are down to the bones everyone wow 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 everyone this whole time we've been trying to figure out where is the water coming from we know it's the roof and obviously some places but there had to be there had to be a bigger hole and we just found it i can see the sky from inside our cabin also the wood stove is leaking which is a given but it's so bad. Are you happy we found it? Because I do have to say, the plywood over here looks pretty decent. Eh? Happy! <laughs> oh my god, it's soaked in here. I know. The chimney's leaking bad. Bad. Oh my gosh. We've made it. Every last piece of insulation is out of those walls and that ceiling. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> wow it feels so good to be at this point because that means the inside of the cabin is entirely bones and the next step is fairly exciting good job Iggy. good job to you proud new day new garbage bin same cleanup crew watch us spend the next two hours cleaning out all of the insulation the dust the grime and the dirt and I have to say, although it looks pink and fluffy and like cotton candy, it actually smells of mold and it hurts your skin if it touches your skin. But lucky for all of you, watch us do it in 10 seconds. But first, my bird watcher. Show them the eagles. We don't have the zoomy camera with us, but take a look at those. Flying in unity over the lake. Just gorgeous, eh? How nice. Come on, this cabin. Oh, okay, let's go get the cotton candy. We probably left it a mess. Hello, my little friend. 
I think it's safe to say the shingles need to be removed. Before we start removing everything on the outside, we need to make sure that everything is in stock. And that means measuring things twice and calling a lot of places. Also, we're having tape trouble right now. Two tapes just broke on us, our good ones, the ones you can really extend. So we're using a cheapy cheapy. And look how good she's doing. Damn, girl. You're good. Oh no, take the measurement quick. I spoke too soon. <laughs> she did it. Minus the shingle. Now that side. <laughs> Everyone, I just figured out the coolest trick. So Crystal sometimes measures in two different measurements, like feet and inches, and then you just broke another tape. <laughs> Instead of going to Google to figure out what you need to figure out, you just hold your measurement and look at that, everyone. Don't call a smartphone for nothing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 24 pieces of plywood, I Wh think. What kind? <laughs> plywood. Come on, girl, you should know Decking plywood, CDX and blah, 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 plywood. <laughs> Half inch know. CDX plywood. I've never okay. dealt with it before and I don't, it's not in there yet. caught me texting and tractoring. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> it's like a senior photo. <laughs> Commute to work. Selfie. <laughs> okay. Anyone know what kind of bird that is? Nice song. This is our good friend, the scaffolding. We've got a double decker, so we're pretty high up here in the roof. It's gonna be easier, it's gonna be safer, and it's gonna be helpful for getting materials up there. And it truly doesn't matter how many times we set this thing up every single time. It's a heck of a time. Today is the day we are going to be removing the shingles and seeing how bad the sheathing is underneath. Step one, we have our dummy line. What's what I'm gonna call it. And that's because it's easy to chuck over the roof, nice and light. That way we can bring up our second dummy line, which then we're going to anchor to a tree so we can safely climb up the roof to attach our forever anchor. That's so tall. Third last piece of safety equipment, our harnesses. And then this is going to attach to our anchor. This is our anchor, which we add a bunch of nails into one of the joists on top of the roof. Show them how it opens, like a roof. Yeah, so it's gonna go on the ridge line, like this. Hammer, 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 hammer. And then Jazz and Crystal get hooked onto this. We each have our own double lock. And then this is so you, I can constantly be adjusting and it won't come undone. Our supervisor just assumed her position so she can watch us f on the roof. Now, if you don't know a thing or two about roofing, you might be wondering, how are you two girls gonna take off those shingles? Meet the shingle shovel! Remover 1000. See these little things right here? They will take out all those flat nails that shingles brum, take. Brum, brum. So Funny story, we were gonna use a regular shovel, but we'll get to that soon. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to attach these two things to me. Please and thanks. So yeah. I need um, that one, sorry. That one attached to me. And I want you to attach this guy as well through there. If it all fits, will it all fit? Yeah. Sick, super safe. Love it. Now if you can go to the bottom of that ladder, please and thank you. I love this ladder already. I want 20 of these ladders. If you can give me the knife too. Like I really need that knife. Like I can't, I can't get this felt paper down. Oh. It's on the other side of the house now. I don't really like this by the way. What? Up here. Just, just wait till you come. Okay. It's really steep. Okay, so I have now found the stud that we are going to anchor into. I can obviously tell by how many nails are put into the sheathing, but also by the sound. We have our joist, we have our anchor, place it in. We have our very long spiral nails. 
Can I just tie into that already? <gasps> Did you watch on YouTube? Someone said to go in at an angle on some of them, so that way, it's like they're all attached. How the hell do you pull this thing out? That's what I wanna know. Good thing is, once this is hooked up, it's hooked up for a long time. I have now anchored the first safety line. And after that, I just got adjusted with the roof and all of my safety equipment. Crystal is getting adjusted with hers as she's hanging from the scaffolding. <laughs> it works! My brain is a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't think anyone should ever build their roof to have a 12-12 pitch. You really have no stability. So like imagine your life with no stability, like never being able to keep your balance. That's what it feels like up there. It's just, it, I think my brain needs to get used to it, so. Crystal's up, she's gonna anchor her anchor. Yeah, girl! You know. <laughs> she's on the roof and smiling, everyone! I don't know why I'm yelling, I have a lab mic on. If you've been here from the beginning, you'll know she's come so far. I'm gonna get the other shovel, I'm gonna start removing right here, is that fine? The plywood doesn't look that bad either, eh? Right here? It looks bad there with all the mosses. Safety equipment set up, you know what time it is? Lunch. You need some sugar in yourself, you know? I'm starting to fade. And I need a little break and a pick me up before we start again. Do you want me to throw your lunch up or are you coming down? <laughs> <laughs> Our bellies are now full. Our lips are protected. What else did I do? Oh, and I went pee. I think we're gonna take the shingles off faster than we set up everything, not gonna lie. I need to do yoga. Let's de shingle. Fun. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty view. It is fun. I'll tell you one thing. What? I'm booking myself a massage after this roof. <laughs> it's another one of those things I never thought I'd be doing. <laughs> Here I am. Doing Here it. we are. Roofing another cabin. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of freaky. What? This part of the roof is a bit soft. Yikes. How soft is it? Just a bit soft. It's not like bad. Ugh, come on, Ridgeline. Imagine if we had regular shovels. <laughs> Are you getting all the nails out? Doing my best. You? Doing my best. If you're watching this and you're wondering why the heck is this going so smoothly, look at these two gals get on that roof so easily, understanding all that PPE and personal safety equipment, and just ripping those shingles off with no fear. Well, 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 don't let us fool you. Here you go for your viewing. Also, this is a 12-12 pitch. Spooky. I don't even know what all of this is. Are you actually reading the instruction manual? Yeah. I went to school and I passed my test. So this is your shock absorber lanyard. I'm still trying to figure out this mechanism though. You haven't figured that out yet? We got here at 10 a.m. It's now two o'clock. I'm holding onto this pole for dear life. I don't want to go anywhere off the ground. <laughs> Anchor or not, it's still so steep of a roof. Gotta keep it real, hope you enjoyed that. That is definitely how yesterday went. But I have to say, in good news, Jasmine and I have been crawling along the very top of the roof, the peak, the ridge line, pulling back those toughest shingles and they're stacked real tight up there. And now that we've got that top peak off, we're starting to work our way down on this side, as you all seen. And we're doing such a great job, I'm so proud. What I've learned is that if you have the right gear, you are safe you're gonna feel good and you're gonna have a good time. So, we've got two roofers. <laughs> I'm still scared. Okay, just trust the rope already. I know. <laughs> We're also gonna need a, um, a cleanup crew. If anybody wants to give us a hand out here. Yeah, like, come on, I thought you were working line dogs already. Yeah, Bella, get to work. You want belly rubs? Oh my gosh, you love the sun. So far the plywood is looking like it's in pretty good condition, so that's wonderful. Now it's time to get off the ridge line. <laughs> AKA, get off my safe zone. <laughs> So 
that's supposed to fit you. Okay, Jasmine, you can do it. Oh no. <laughs> I am getting weak, very weak. My legs gave out a couple times. I full on panicked and then my harness caught me, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Get back up, I'm so tired. <laughs> I think we should go to bed. Oh, I can't even say it. These roofers, <laughs> Crystal and I, spend so much time on our butts. I bet a roofer is gonna be like, Yo, you should try to stand on your feet. I tried a couple times, but you all must have really strong ankles. <laughs> what is going on? Jazzy's back up there. She's about to tackle that whole middle bit. And then I'm gonna head on over to this side and fingers crossed before that sun sets, we can get this side done. <gasps> so tired. That took the absolute life out of me. I am going to sleep like a child tonight. We got one whole side done today. And a quarter of the other. A quarter of the other side. I'm feeling super happy and fulfilled oh. that we got up there and we did it. My arms, I can't even lift them. Because we have the proper anchors, we don't have to do any of that tomorrow. We just latch in and go to the other side. No moving the scaffolding because they teeter back and forth. I am much more comfortable on the roof now after being on it all day. Hopefully my ankles are and oh. arms are in tip-top shape for tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Well, it's 2 p.m. and that's because we've got a visitor. Look who came by to see what we're working on. Hi, Porter. Hi. Everybody say hi, Porter. Hi, Porter. <laughs> Bye, y'all. See you. See you. <laughs> Day two of removing the shingles on our abandoned cabin down here at the lake. You ready to crush it? I'm feeling very energized. Last night I slept like oh. an absolute child, like I said I would. I mean, you're I, a brick. You didn't even have a heartbeat. I hardly, <laughs> I didn't do the dishes. I hardly made dinner. I fell asleep on the couch and I woke up in a complete daze. Roofing is a serious task. So it's serious. If you're watching this video, be like, you girls make this look easy. It ain't. I'm telling you, it ain't. Ripped my pants twice yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's yeah. get back up there. Yeah. Do you ever use both hands? Yeah, when I feel secure. Yeah. The, whatever the paper is underneath, it's so slippery. Yeah, okay. How is that even what makes it waterproof? Oh, pretty bird, eh? Oh shit. What? I went right underneath that chimney there. Oh. Halfway done, girl. Taking a little breather. I'm not as strong as yesterday. The best way to relate it is when you go to the gym and you do the hardest workout of your life, how you feel the next five days, that's what I already feel. Yeah, girl! Let's give that a push. So far with the plywood, the only really soft piece is where the chimney is. Do you think it needs to be replaced? I'm not sure yet. It's pretty soft, but like... We're not sure yet. Wow, that chimney's gonna go a barrel in. Yeah. My ankles! Burning. Oh, my One thing I hate is doing the outside edges because our anchors are in the middle. When you're out there, you have a lot of slack. And if you take one wrong foot, you swing right to the middle like a pendulum. Pendulum? Like a pendulum. You know those things? Doot, doot, doot. And I know the harness gets me, but it's still scary swinging on a, on a roof. I would never do this the entire edge walk. Would you? Um, yeah, probably, but I don't know. I have zero interest in seeing Toronto. I think I need to take my hat off. <gasps> like that. Yeah. Can I stand? Yeah. It works. Uh-oh. The amount of like black caulking they tried to put around there to make it waterproof is hilarious. Hilarious. Like, More caulking doesn't mean it gets waterproof. It actually means it gets worse. There's no way a chimney moves like this. Well, that's what happens when you buy an abandoned cabin, Crystal. <laughs> oh, <no way! laughs> Jesus Christ. So okay, we've made it to the corner. Oh, I'm so it? much faster today. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, she says. Lunch on the ridge line again? I don't think my body can do that ever again. I wonder, do they make roofing butt pads? It's like snowboarding. That makes sense? Like you have to really get your ass into it? 
And then you just need to remind yourself if you swing to the middle, it will be okay. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. I love you. Good girl, eh? Well deserved. Oh. oh. I can't describe how good that feels. Oh. Every muscle is like gravity. Woohoo! How many hours did that take us? Two hours to do the second side. That's and fast. This was lunch break. It's now dinner break. Not quite the dinner I imagined. Okay, so we need to have a new game plan, unfortunately. We have some tragic news, Bella. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Did you see this? Who's gonna turn that off? Yeah. Not I. <laughs> Not her. Not anyone. Don't worry, girls. We didn't forget about you. We just ate first. Because you supervisors are doing nothing. Sit. Kiss. Good girl. Kiss. Go ahead. <laughs> Goes to kiss the plate. Good girls. Good news, we hardly have any shingles on the roof. Bad news, they're all on the ground. We got a big mess to clean up, everyone. I'm so sore. Oh, Crystal. We're gonna be so wrecked for a couple days. We yeah. have to recover. Yeah, I'm gonna go lay on the dock. You're going to Mexico. See you all later. You've earned yourself a 10 minute massage. <laughs> I'd go longer, but I don't think I could. I don't think you can go 10, girl. <laughs> Remember okay. the, our first video ever? The roofing and we went like this and we fell over. The roof wrecked us. Okay. Wrecked us physically and emotionally and our relationship at one point. Not so emotional this time because we no. are prepared. Okay, tarp. We're gonna put the tarp up. Okay, so I've gotten so many different opinions. So obviously they build houses, rain, shine, anything, winter, and the houses sit uncovered like this. Is it bad if this gets wet? All right, my girlfriend is a genius. She came up with a great plan, same as the one for the anchor. We're going to use that string to pull over the rope and the rope will be attached to the tarp, the other end of the tarp. That way it covers the entire roof in a matter of minutes. And the reason we need to tarp this roof is because we don't want to replace all of the sheathing, only the sheathing that needs to be replaced. That way the roof will be in tip top shape and be ready for underlayment and then roofing. She's so committed to getting this roof covered with this tarp. So proud. And I don't blame her because We've had a very, very dry spring. So I can only imagine it'd be just our luck that if we didn't put this up, it would just pour the next few days. But let me tell you, now that we have it up, we're not gonna see any rain. <laughs> How long do you think this roof will last? Warranty up 20 years. 20 year warranty on 20 this. 20 year warranty, ma'am. And the color blue doesn't fade. It always stays in style. Don't worry about keeping up with your neighbors. We did it! Good job. Hey, dear, honey. You crushed that. <laughs> <laughs> so wrecked. We got all of the shingles off and we managed to waterproof the roof before the rain comes. I'm so proud of us and I think this is a prime example that you can do it too. A little bit of research, a little bit of give and motivation, and you can tackle anything you want to. Thanks for watching. We'll be here. <laughs> I think I'm seeing things. Love you, Pac! Say goodbye to the vlog! Bye, everyone! <laughs> Love you, Pac! Come on. Oh. 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 Oh.